welcome to a new weekly blog. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I document my weight loss journey, showing you guys what I eat in a day and how I work out each week. If you are new here, please do subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl. That's me. Leave this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And let's get into this weekly vlog. Oh my gosh. So it's currently snowing. It's not bad outside, but it is freezing cold. I currently have a heated blanket on right now. I slept with it last night. It auto shuts off after 30, 40 minutes. So it's not on the entire night, my weighted blanket. And then I had my space heater on for about an hour last night because it was just like really cold in my room. And although we had heating on in the house, my room is just really cold. I always get a really cold room, which I don't mind because I prefer, I know it sounds weird. I prefer feeling cold because when I feel super, super hot, like when I overheat, I don't feel good. When I feel cold, it's like not a bad thing. And I like the feeling of coldness to where I can still move my hands. <laughs> not when you're like outside in this kind of weather or in the teens. It's literally, I believe it's yesterday was like 12 degrees. Today, I don't know the weather let's see it is nine degrees today so it is single digits but it's supposed to stop snowing soon it's like a little sprinkle of snow i see outside so it's not too bad but then it's going to be sunny the rest of the week going into next week which is really nice so the snow will be gone soon it was just yesterday and today and i just did not feel like doing anything but i did get macaroni and cheese yesterday and I didn't eat the whole entire thing. I only had part of it with my meal. I stated last week that I ended the week at 217. Went back up a pound, but that's okay. Because we're going to hit it hard this week. We are going to get down to that deficit. Eat healthy, work out. I don't think I'm going to be walking today. I mean, it's 819. It's 820 actually now. I'm not going to be walking today. I don't like walking in the snow when it's like extremely extremely cold like if it's like perfect fall weather and i can like wear a few layers then you know i can go for a walk but it is winter winter outside <laughs> so i'm not going for a walk also my mouth is like not as dry anymore so i feel like and my lips aren't like cracked like they're not like looking white and crusty in the morning which is so nice i literally just woke up i haven't done anything to my face I just woke up and I still have like my little scarf on so yeah I am going to I just turned on the space heater for like a couple minutes just to kind of like warm up my room a little bit because it is just freezing cold and then I will head to the living room because I don't want to work from my bed today I should not do that I should work from the living room. I made quite a big purchase. I will show you it when I receive the purchase. I made two quite like semi-large. One of them was only a couple hundred dollars and one of them <laughs> was something that I actually needed because when I show you my current situation for why I had to buy this new thing, you're going to be like, dang girl. It's so bad, but like I need, I needed a new one. So I'm excited to show you guys once I receive it, I should be receiving it fairly soon. I am going to make breakfast because it is 822 and I kind of want to eat around 830, but I need to take my time with making my oatmeal because the past couple times I've made my oatmeal, they've been a little bit hard and I did not like that, but I was in a rush. I needed to start things so I just need to start it on a slower heat and go for a little bit longer instead of going for a higher heat because I was just impatient. Eating the usual this morning which is my oatmeal <laughs> with all the things in it. I'm not having green juice this morning just because I didn't feel like it. Probably gonna have some tea later instead but yeah that's the <laughs> oatmeal. <laughs> it is currently 318 and I'm eating 
again now. Um, I'm currently just warming up my macaroni and cheese that I had yesterday uh, with vegetables and my chicken sausage. So I'll show you that guys that right now. So this is the food situation right now. making breakfast which is what I always make thought I'd kind of chat through some things so I'm making some breakfast our heating currently is not working properly so it is frigid cold which is why I worked out with the top today and it snowed the past couple days but today the snow is supposed to all melt which is nice because it's gonna get up to the 60s so by the end of the week we will have no snow on the ground probably even tomorrow. I know in Colorado, because that's how, that's how the weather is here. It'll like snow like at the beginning of the week and by the end of the week, you wouldn't even have known it snowed because it's all gone, it melted away. Just making some oatmeal, maintaining weight, you know. You know me, but I think yesterday was like my last day on the Red Plague. Mother Nature has left me which is really nice. I love that. And I'm no longer bloated, which is nice. I am gonna have this green juice today. I always forget that this has grapefruit in it, which I'm not a huge fan of grapefruit, but I can really taste it in this batch for sure. That is not my favorite thing, but that is okay over the weekend had mac and cheese. Well, on Sunday I had mac and cheese and I only had like a third of it and then I had a third yesterday and now I'm having a third today. Yeah, I just craved some mac and cheese so I thought, why not have it with your meals? I'm also running out of cacao powder. I don't think I'm gonna I don't know if I should buy any more or not. It does last a long time, which I do like that aspect, but yeah. Also, this week on Thursday, I am going to a friend's place and we're gonna have like, we're just gonna hang out because we haven't seen each other in a long time, like over a month. I have been using my space heater 
the past couple nights. Not like the entire night because that bill would be freaking ridiculous, but I, I used it for an hour a couple nights ago and then 30 minutes yesterday morning because it was just so cold. And then this morning it was cold. And so I just, I like have been sleeping with my heated blanket that I got at Costco, which is clutch, which also, if you guys don't know, I found this out the other day too. There's such a thing as like a heated mattress cover. I'm going to get on, on that deal because especially with it like it's not like freezing freezing but it is blowing like cool ish air it's not like hot like we want it to and also the thermostat battery is like out so <sighs> maintenance is going to come by soon help fix that because your girl is working from home and needs a warm environment <laughs> let me tell you i do like to be like have the feeling of being cold. Getting out of bed and the air is just so cold is not the tea. You know what I mean? Like it's just not for me, sis. Also lately, I've been using the kitchen scissors to cut up my meat and it's a game changer. My dry mouth has gone essentially, which is really, really nice. And the thing is like, it wasn't even dry mouth as in my tongue was dry. It was like the sides, inner, inner parts of my my mouth lips were like patchy dry which was causing everything else to be dry and now the moisture is back my lips haven't been cracked which well yesterday the corner was a little bit cracked which I was like okay I just need to drink more water I just need to make sure I'm moisturizing my body properly I feel like I just really dropped the ball on my skincare and body care this week <laughs> and last week so I need to like pick that up want to get out from being 216 and get back to being in like the low 200s getting into the 190s that is like the goal for your girl Also, this collagen peptides is good, but I definitely prefer the Beauty Greens collagen peptides. Like that one, like I just, the taste is really good and I like that I'm getting more vegetables. So I think once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna go back to the other one and just like use it as like a treat type of thing. Cause it is expensive for like, these things are not cheap. Like this at Costco, $25, but you get 24 ounces where normally like 16 to 18 ounces is like $30. So it doesn't last as long. Whereas this has about 78 servings because I only do one scoop. I don't do two scoops. And the other one was, about, was like a month serving. So it's just not, it's not super affordable, but I like it and definitely want to keep it in the rotation. All right, got my hot water bottle, my oatmeal, and my green juice. Oatmeal is ready. You can kind of see. A little bit I'm not gonna focus on that but anyways that is the breakfast that's our little catch up this morning and i will check in with you guys for lunch or yeah whenever i eat next because yesterday I'm only having a couple meals but i was fine
currently snacking on some seaweed. I'm getting better at like showing all the little snacks, but I don't have any meetings today. Today has been pretty chill, which is nice. So I'm just drinking water, eating some seaweed. I'm gonna take a little break and watch some anime. I'm currently watching Demon Slayer Kometsu no Yaiba. I think that is something ha like that. I think that's how you say it. If that is not, I apologize for butchering <laughs> the name, but I really like it. I really want the second season to come out soon, but you know, it's got to take its time. All things come to those, all good things come to those who wait. So I'm waiting, girl, for this good thing currently making my dinner right now and I'm going to make it with some hash browns and a little bit of chick-fil-a sauce because now you can buy this at chick-fil-a and here is the finished product got some hash browns with the chick-fil-a sauce along with my eggs and green beans carrot goat cheese all in one our heating is fixed, so back to the sports bras, but I am going to do an arm workout with a little bit of abs this morning. So I'm very excited to do that, knowing that it is so much warmer in our apartment. It's The snow is basically gone, but there's still snow on like the grassy parts, but in terms of the pavement, dry as a bone but it's still I can tell it's still very cold outside so I'm gonna get this workout we're gonna time lapse it up and then I am going to join a early meeting today so I don't have that long to work out and then I will have breakfast a lot later because of this early meeting but yeah Let's get this workout. Breakfast is now served. It is almost lunchtime and I have a meeting soon. And I figured I want more pasta. I don't want to put my hair up. I want more pasta. So I am going to go to the grocery store and buy myself more dairy-free pasta. That is what I'm going to do. And having it once a day has been like not bad for me like I'm not like I finally lost another pound which was nice so no longer maintaining because I think it was last week that I had when did I have Shake Shack 
honestly, the days, the days are just melting together. But anyways, I did have my carnitine cheese over the weekend. Like I bought a box and it lasted me up until yesterday. So that's three days. So I'm thinking going forward, I would like to have more appetizing meals. It's not that my meals are not tasty because they are like I season them properly. You guys have seen um, from when I'm like making my food, making my lunch and, and dinner, as well as my breakfast, like I season my food properly, but sometimes you just want a something a little bit more hearty. And I know that I was going on for a long time about just like carbs and everything, but I'm just honestly, I'm giving you guys my like honest thoughts and I'm processing things right then and there so like how I'm feeling or what I'm thinking through things in terms of my diet and my exercise like I'm just being completely transparent with you guys my lips feel so dry right now and I have been drinking water so oh my gosh her dogs I want a dog so bad but I don't want to get one living in an apartment like I'd rather have a dog when I have a house slash that is like my reason for buying a house is to have a backyard for my future dogs that I don't even have right now isn't that wild like I don't even the thing is like I don't even really need a house for myself it's more of just like a backyard would be really cool for my dogs and I would want a big backyard and then have like a guest house for my grandma so that she can stay with me but still feel like she has her own space type of thing and then I also feel like I have my own space so that's like my dream but anyways I am gonna go to the grocery store real quick and get myself more dairy-free plant-based pasta
oatmeal is done. And I'm going to get back to work. Also need to finish editing the vlog so I can try to have that up today. Um, it may or may not go up today. It'll probably go up tomorrow. So, but there will be a vlog. But I have a day off next week, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to just like edit videos that day and get ahead on this YouTube channel because I have a lot of videos filmed that like just need to be edited. Like I have a moving vlog, I have a work from home day vlog from like back in the summer that I want to put out. Um, and then I also want to film a couple videos like a couple get ready with me. So well, not a couple. I'm just going to film a get ready with me video. I have an idea for like a blue eyeshadow look. So we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, now that I've thoroughly mixed this up. For people who hate their food touching, I'm so sorry. I love when my food touches because then I get new flavors. And experience new textures. Like, I love when my food touches. Sorry if you don't, but I'm like obsessed with it. Like just mixing it in a bowl. Mmm. People are probably cringing me saying that, but yeah, this is something that I find that a lot of people hate. <laughs> Vegetables are pretty much done. Now to have the sausage and add in my macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, yesterday I bought these because I was looking for apple cider. I bought this organic ginger juice. Will that focus? I bought this organic ginger juice. And then I also got lemon juice as well, pure. So literally the ingredients are organic lemon juice. And then for the ginger, it is organic ginger juice, organic lemon juice. So they were not cheap. They were not cheap, I will say. This is lunch so far. So I decided to pour in a little bit of the lemon juice and the ginger juice into a mug and I'm now boiling some water. I'm gonna have that as a tea. So you can see here and the little mixture is in there. So you can see. And then lunch is right over here. I'm gonna add some honey. I got from Trader Joe's. So that is boiling. I have it on high. There we go. Let me take that off. Put a little bit of honey. I'm doing this one handed because I have you guys in my hand. Go. I need to get a little spoon. Stir that up. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but it's tea. So I'm going to tuck into this now and have my tea.
this is today's dinner. And I already had like a spoonful of Alfredo pasta. So I forgot to check in, but basically we had the same 216. Um, yesterday I had a lot going on. I was volunteering and went over to hang out with a friend and just didn't bring my camera because I was also running late in the morning because we started pretty early at like nine. So yeah, 216. Um, November is going to be a new month and I will share with you guys more for the plans for the rest of the year and stuff like that. So I will love you and leave you here. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl and give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. But don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, guys. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm not sure of what I see. Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes. And I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign?